Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shaw Craft One and my old barn door. And I'm just working on my farmhouse kits. Um, these are gonna be um, like farmhouse recipe cookbook themed um, embellishment book kits that like the ones that I've been making. So I'm just making some ephemera to go in them and I thought I would just turn the camera on and just kind of do a craft with me. So I've had it in my mind, I want to do some um, collaged envelopes on these, uh, in these kits. And so I pulled out some uh, of these like cream or beige colored envelopes and I want to do some collaging on them. So we're just going to get started and let the camera roll. So basically, um... I just want to start adding stuff, um, you know, just kind of collaging stuff onto my little envelopes. And I have some old music sheets. So I think I'm going to start with that. I kind of like the smaller side. So let's try that. And I think I might want to tear off this extra part that's kind of chewed up anyway. And we'll start here. And then I want to add some of the good stuff. I have all kinds of stuff to play with. I've got um, paper scraps here. And I have... Um, I have some journaling cards and stuff here that I thought I might try and put on some stuff. And then I have, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I have this little tray. Um, actually, this is from, <laughs> this little tray is from like an old Monopoly game, but it helps me to be able to separate my colors. So, I don't know if you guys do that or not, but I do because, you know, sometimes, I don't know, I just need the organization, I guess. <laughs> All right, what do we want to put on here with the music? I think I don't want the music right in the center. And I want some colors. I like this little, I guess these are strawberries or cherries or I'm not sure which. I'm trying to check the camera. I was trying to sit down while I do it. So, so I know how far. Let me see. Okay. I'm going to make myself some boundaries here. So, so I know you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. So I just figured I'd just let the camera play while I'm crafting and talk to you guys and see how you guys are doing. I hope everybody's doing okay. I saw a little thing on Facebook today and it said something to the effect of, oh my goodness, it feels like it's January 74th. And it kind of does, doesn't it? It feels like January's been the longest month. I don't know what is up with that, but it does feel like January has just kind of taken forever to, to be done and get to February. So I'm not sure what is, what is the deal with that, but... I mean, I'm okay with it because usually time flies, so I don't have any issues with that. Um, I was going to show y'all this. Um, you know how you get your paper packs and you have these sheets in your paper packs? And I mean, a lot of times they have some really cool patterns and stuff on them. And I thought, well, why can I not use these? So I'm going to use them in collage. So we're going to use some of these and tear some of these up and add them to some of our collage envelopes. So that's just, you know, a good idea of something that you can do um, with these little sheets. And that way you don't have to throw them in the trash and they don't go to waste and all that good stuff. So we're going to try it and see how it looks. And I usually like to tear the edges because I just like the torn look. So, 
we're just going to play around with it and see where we get with it. And I also have, um, you know, the fabrics that I'll add to it as well. I think I am going to go ahead and start gluing stuff down, though, because if I don't, it's going to all slide around on me. I'm telling you what, since I've been doing this collage stuff, I have went through the glue sticks. They are just like... Where are my little cards? Okay. So let's try this one here. Ugh. Probably won't be able to do any sewing on the envelopes unless I, you know, like put a little collage together first and then and sew on it before I put it down on the envelope. Um, because these are not envelopes that you can like take apart. I mean, you can, but you run the risk of tearing them. So maybe we want him here. What else do we have? I want something with some bright come just taking um like I made I've made the folders for the kits and so I'm just taking the scraps um from those folders and using those to clodge the envelopes with. I'm just trying to I kinda want some red. I like the pigs. Let's see the pigs. I think I want to put some red and some blue on here. So we'll just tear our edges. And it doesn't take long to do these. I do tend to be a little more, like I think about it too much. <laughs> and so I'm like, okay, Diane, just move it along. Just get them done. So, kind of like that there. And I think I want some of the green stripe. And I actually, this is like ticking. I think I want it sideways, maybe right down here at the bottom. So let's see how much we can get of it. And I'm not super careful about, um, you know, tearing the edges because I like the rough, jagged look. And, you know, I try not to tear too much of the paper off, but as long as we, you know, as long as we have enough to fit there and, and be what we need, we're good to go. So I like this little piece that has the um, like the cows in the barn in the center of it. So that's super cute. And let's see, we let's we've got green and red. Let's do some blue. Maybe we'll do some blue over here. I love this buffalo check. I'm a huge fan of gingham. I love the gingham pattern. It just kind of goes with the country style and the farmhouse stuff. So, but this gingham, uh, I mean this buffalo pattern, it looks really cute too on here. And I love this color blue. And it looks kind of like, I don't know if you can see that, but it kind of has a, like a burlapy look to it in the, in the pattern. So that helps and you know if you wanted to you could ink the edges of these but I'm not gonna take the time to do it um, just because I like the way it looks with the white edge so um, I, have, I have this this is just like the back of a paper pad that I've used up and I like to do my gluing on it and that way it doesn't get all over my mat and whoops and you don't have to worry about you know making a mess and and keeping your your envelope dry so to speak you know you don't want to get glue all over your your envelope 
So we're just going to add these on here. I always kind of do the middle first and then I go back around the edges to make sure that I get a good hold and the edges aren't going to be coming up or anything. So we'll do the pigs. And then the green ticking. And then I almost want to do, I, I almost wonder if I want to do like a focal piece here. Let's look through our little cards here and see what we have available. I should probably put the lid back on my glue. <coughs> Excuse me. So maybe I want to do a focal piece and then um, and then some fabric. I don't like the shape of that one. Let's see what else we have. Okay, I have some of the Seven Gypsies stuff. I kind of like that. I already have cows and pigs on there. Let's see if we can find something with the chicken. I'm not sure if we can. Let's see what this looks like. You see what I mean? I'm too indecisive. <laughs> I need to just get it on there and put it down and be done with it. Let's see. I love these Seven Gypsies ones. Um, I, I think I have. I think I have some in the in my shop. I'm not sure. I know I have some more. So, if you want, oh, that's cute with the pig. But I do already have a pig. I was looking for a chicken, right? I don't think I'm going to find a chicken. Let me see what I have. Oops. Oh, no. I had these all in a little bag because they're so tiny. But I guess I could pour them out. These are cute. The little cherries. My friend sent these to me. It's been a while ago. And I stuck them in a drawer and forgot I had them. And so I was excited when I found them. And so I decided I would pull them out and use them in this so I kind of like the let's eat I think I like that one better it just kind of stands out better so I think I'm gonna put him right here and I want some fabric there with it let me see what color of fabric do we need maybe blue fabric so I have lots of different fabrics here I have this one that I love it's one of my favorites Ooh, and some lace would be cute sticking out of there, wouldn't it? Let me see. If we do lace and then the blue and then the let's eat. What do y'all think? I like that. I think that's cute. Okay, so we'll put the lace down first. I'm going to use some Fabri-Tac on the lace. Let me move some of this out of the way. That's my problem when I'm doing collage. <laughs> is I always get entirely too much stuff um, on my desk. And then I run out of room to work. Whoops. See what I mean? No room. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to put that down. And then we're going to put a little bit more Fabri-Tac on our blue fabric. there 
And then we can glue. I'm going to put the top on my Fabri-Tac so I don't dry it out. And then we can glue this. On top. I just like to do it with the, um, you know, like a gift card or a credit card or whatever, um, just so that I, I know it's got a good hold and it's going to stay down good. So, yeah, I think I like that. Let me see. What do you guys think? Super cute, huh? So, there's one collaged envelope. Quite a few more to go. But we'll do, I'll do a couple more on video. And that way, you know, um, you guys can see like a different variety of, of how I'm doing them. And um, I think I want some good cookbook pages since this is going to be like a cookbook themed book. So hang on, let me grab some. Okay, so I have some of these old book pages and cookbook pages and um, there's something else. Uh, oh, that's from an almanac, and these are some children's book dictionary pages. So we got a little bit of just, um, I call them neutrals because, you know, they're just kind of neutral type um, pieces that you can add to your collage. <coughs> Excuse me. So I think on this one, I think I want to do um, the um, cookbook page type deal. And this is cool because it so happens to be uh, the pages I grabbed are for like hush puppies and Johnny Cakes and things like that, which is super country. Let's try some of these. Oh, this is from Knoxville, Tennessee. Miss ZL Wynn is the one who sent this recipe in. Super cool. So we can do something like this, and then I like this. This is a really pretty, oh, there's a chicken. I totally missed that the last time, didn't I? And I got chicken sitting right there, too. Silly me. I mean, you don't have to tear the edges off if you don't want to. If you if you want to do some collage envelopes, the next one I'll do, I won't tear the edges on. So you can kind of get the idea of what it looks like without the torn edges. I just like the look of the torn edges. Um, and I think I want to put some fabric right here. But I think I might sew it onto this before I glue it onto this envelope. And I'll show you what I mean. Which these... These are some pieces that I had cut from. I had glued this fabric on to something. I can't remember what it was. It might have been a book cover or something. And it didn't like the way it looked. So when I went to take it off, it left the paper backing on it. So it's actually kind of cool um, having this fabric on this paper backing because um, it's just, you know, it's a little bit different to work with. But it's easier to work with the fabric because it's, you know, it's not flimsy. So it's actually, um, I may do... Um, I might do a, uh, a tutorial, if I can think of the word, on how to do these. Um, you know, it was one of those things that was a happy ac accident, you know, so turned out pretty cute. So I know I want to put some there, but I want to wait and, and finish my collage first and, and let's see how it turns out. Let's use some of the blue roses. These are super pretty. And they're on like a white brick wall. I don't know if you can tell or not on the camera, but they're, they're really pretty. So 
So I think we'll do this envelope and one more. So that should get us to our, um, I don't know, I'll have to look at the time and see where we're at on our time. We'll try to make this one fairly quick. I didn't want to cover. Okay, let's do it this way. That way you can still see the cornmeal muffins um, recipe type deal. I want some, um, let's put some of this green. Where is, I thought I had a smaller piece. I'm trying to use the smaller pieces at first, you know, because they go fast and it kind of lets you get rid of a lot of your scraps. So, and that's what I love about doing these collages is you can, um, you know, whatever project you're working on, when you finish that project or even in the middle of the project, however you want to do it, uh, but you can go ahead and do these collage type deals and use up those scraps. I kind of like that like that so that it's kind of off-centered and maybe we could put a cute little piece of fabric right here. Let me see if I can find a small piece. Oh, I know what. I have these little tiny pieces that were left over from um, uh, another project. I was cutting something or I can't remember what. But So we'll use that piece right there. And then let's do some red. This is a really relaxing um, type project. You know, you're just ripping paper and glue and paper and you know you can you can take you I have a little tray I'll show you what I'm talking about I have like a little tray I bought this for like two dollars I think at the dollar store and you know you can just pile you some stuff up on a tray and go sit in front of the TV with your honey um, you know and you can watch TV and make your collages while you're watching TV and that way you're kind of killing two birds with one stone you know you're spending time with your significant other and this is not cooperating with me as it wants to keep moving um you know and you can get some work done at the same time so it works out pretty good so now that i have this here this is not going to work there because it just looks awkward so we're going to put them right there and i think i want to add some chickens hmm I kind of want something big right there, though. Let me see what I have. Oh, now there's some chickens. This was just from, um, this is from a 6x6 Bow Bunny paper pad called, does it, Family Recipes is the name of the, the paper pad. I'll hold it up. Hopefully you can see that. It's real tiny writing. You know what I could do? I could do like a big focal point over here on this side too. Maybe. Let's see what we have in here. And then I can put a strip of fabric right there. Let's see what we got. What do we have? That's a different color red. Nope. This is just kind of the process I go through when trying to figure out something to put. <laughs> oh, no, that's cute. But you know what? These are going to be so tall, they're going to... So I need a short one. Like this one would work. Because I can actually tear around that. Yeah, let's do this one. And so you don't have to throw that away. You can still use that. And again, like I say, I try to think too much about it. I should just grab a piece, glue them down, and be done with it. But, well, it's just kind of how I work. <laughs> yeah, I like that there. And then we could put, oh, let me think. Oh, I want right there. I have these cute cows. And you know what? Since it's, um, this is kind of too thin to, like, rip around the whole edges. However, I can hide the edges of this. So, I would hide it. 
underneath here, underneath here, well, and then underneath here. And that way it's just straight on the bottom so it doesn't look too bad. And you still get, you know, you get the cows in there. And then I'll just put something here. I'll put this fabric here and maybe a piece of fabric up there. I like it. Now I'm trying to decide. I don't really, I won't really have a spot to sew a piece of fabric down. So we're just going to, we're just going to pull a piece of fabric like this, or like this. And I didn't really want it to cover up the Johnny Cakes word. So I need kind of a smaller piece of fabric. Here's a little one. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. So now I'm going to have to, since I'm not going to sew, I'm going to just slide. I'm going to slide these pieces over so I kind of keep a, an idea of where I had things. I should have um, been gluing down, you know, as I was placing how, you know, but what I thought I was going to sew. So it'll be okay. We'll figure it out. Yeah, this collaging is really, really relaxing, and it's fun. I enjoy it, and it uses up your scraps. And goodness knows I have a boatload of scraps that need to be used up, so I'm trying to make as much of these as I possibly can. And I like this with the farmhouse style because it kind of gives it a little bit of a quilted look, which goes along with the farmhouse style. So it just kind of complements it really well. Okay. So then next, I need to put my cows down because they're going to be under stuff. Hopefully, I can get this in the right spot. Oh, goodness, I got a big glob of glue there. Well, let's just put him on the back of this one. And that way, it don't go to waste. good so if I have a you know a spot where it's not sticking down good I just go back over it with some glue and rub it down real good and then I'm gonna go ahead and put this one down This one I am definitely a slow crafter but that's okay I don't mind being slow it does take me longer to get projects done though so I was hoping to have these kits done already uh, but I have just had a tremendous amount of of interruptions and things to deal with this week so I was hoping to have them done by today but heh, it's definitely not going to happen hopefully I can have them done in the next day or so if um, if I can stop being interrupted <laughs> but you know life happens and you just deal with it as it comes and you do the best you can with what you got and you appreciate that you've got life in the first place I know I do have a lot of people who are waiting on these. I've got, I think, eight or ten people already on the list who've said, I want one of the farmhouse kits. So, I told people that I would save them for them. 
So I'm having to make quite a few of them just to make sure I have enough for everybody. So that's another reason why it's taking me a little bit longer than um, the last ones that I did. Because I'm, I'm making so many more of them this time. Because I know people love the farmhouse stuff. I love, love, love the farmhouse and the country and all of that good stuff. So it's kind of my favorite favorite style. I love the vintage and I love the shabby chic. Um, but I just, um, I just, there's just something about the farmhouse stuff that, that just I'm drawn to. Okay, Fabri-Tac is sticking to me everywhere. Alright, so we wanted a piece here. I think I want to fray the edges of this. This fabric frays pretty good, but it kind of is hard because I have Fabri-Tac on my hands. And so <laughs> the frayed parts, won't, they want to stick to my hands. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put Fabri-Tac here. This stuff gets is so sticky. Which is a good thing. That's what you want is glue, you know, but it can be a little difficult to work with sometimes. So you have to wipe the little tip off of it pretty often to make sure you don't keep it in a mess. And, of course, you have to keep the, the lid on it to keep it from drying out and getting all kinds of sticky and goopy. As Mom said, it gets goopy. Okay. I was trying not to stick my fingers in it, but I don't have a choice. All right. So I didn't get to sew on that one, but I like the way it turned out. It's pretty cute. And maybe I'll put, do I want to, well, I have words here. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe I want a piece of fabric here. And I think, I think I want to shorten this piece. To like right here. Mm, I don't really like the way that looks. I need to find a piece to put here. What do we want right there? Maybe yellow? Let me pull some yellow and see what we've got. I have this yellow that I got from Tammy uh, from My World in OKC. So we need to just make it a little shorter. Maybe, because I don't want it super big. Maybe about right there. And that's the really cool thing with these two. You, um, you know, if you do your fabrics or whatever, um, you don't have to have a whole lot of fabric to give it, you know, the look that you're going for. Um, it just takes little bitty pieces of fabric to give it the accent. Okay, just pull these little strings. Yeah, I think that's cute. We'll put that there. Sometimes it's easier to put the fabric tack on the paper and then just sit the the fabric down into it. That's cute. I like it. What do you guys think? You like that? So let me check my time and see where we're at. Um, we're at 34 minutes. I was going to try and do one that just had the squares, but I'll just, here's what I'll do. Instead of doing all the gluing and everything, where did I put that other one? I'm just going to kind of place it on there just to kind of give you an idea of how you can do it. So you can, instead of tearing it, you know, you can make your little, um, your little collage look a little more quilty. 
so to speak with like you know like it's quilt blocks so you can just sit it like this and maybe even leave a little space in between so that the color of your envelope shows a little bit let me see what else we have okay let's put him over here and maybe something like this And then, what else do we want? This is cute. I don't like that in there with that. It just kind of seems to clash. So let's see, I don't want something striped. Here we go, this one's cute. So if we put that, so see you could do, and you can make these smaller. You can make them, you know, smaller little blocks and put you some squares in there instead of rectangles. You know, and then you have this little gap here, so you just put a piece of fabric there. So let's find a piece of fabric that would look cute there. Um, okay, I have this burlap that's left over from um, the notebooks or the, um, the embellishment books that I made. So say you could glue that down there, and that would be super cute, but I don't really like the, uh, I don't really like the blue there. Let's try something different. Sorry, I'm trying to hurry because I know that the time is up. There we go. So see? And then you would just glue all of that down. You could sew on the pieces before, um, you know, you glue them down or whatever. Or if you don't have a sewing machine, I'll show you something else super cute that you can do real quick and then we'll be finished. Um, you can take a marker. Um, I have like a little brown marker. You can do brown. You can do black. You can do whatever color you want to do. So you could just take um, one of your pieces, or all of your pieces, and you just make your faux stitching, you know, all the way around that little piece. And that way, that's for all of you ladies who, you know, if you don't have a sewing machine right now, you can still kind of get the country stitched look. So you just do your little stitch marks. And somebody, I think, had a stamp that looked like stitching. I think it was, um, I think Linda Israel has a stamp in her shop that looks like um, stitching. So you can actually stamp the stitching on there. But then, you know, if you did all the pieces like that, it would look like a sewn, you know, like a sewn quilt piece. So that's kind of how you can do um, a couple of different ways um, to collage on your envelopes and things like that. And with having this straight line all the way across here, it would look really cool. Now, I probably wouldn't use this color, um, but it would look really cool to have a piece of fabric going all the way across. And then, you know, you would still put, uh... again, I wouldn't use the yellow because it kind of clashes. But I'm just trying to show you so that you can, you, you get the gist of it. You guys know what I'm talking about. So, anyways, I just thought I would come along and say hi. And I love you guys real big, and I hope you're enjoying your day. I hope you enjoyed this craft with me. And, um, yeah, uh, leave any comments or questions that you have in the comment box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like more videos like this. And I will talk to you in the next video. Love you guys real big.